Hey everyone, this is CL100 Enable, and I'm still playing 3D Ultra Lionel Train Town Deluxe. And guess what I finally get to play? Congratulations! You've unlocked the final job. The knights at Cook's Castle are preparing for a great battle. See to it that the knights are well supplied. That's right, I finally get to do the a Festival of Knights job. After getting past those hard jobs in the in the whistleblower section. Hmm, before we start doing anything, why don't we just look around? Hmm, this looks pretty interesting. Wow, this area is huge. There are seven tasks to complete. Hmm, looks pretty cool. There are many buildings here. Oh, sorry about that. The audio was, um, cut off there. Somehow. <clears throat> Excuse me. This place looks awesome. Now why don't we go ahead and do the first task, where we have to sort um, the loads and the ex explosive loads. So let's send um, the dodge balls to the place where the steam locomotive is. There we, it goes. Now, I currently still have s the speed collisions disabled, so I'm safe. And this job is just like the explosive connections job. But this time, the hump is longer. Time penalty! See? That's why I have the speed collisions disabled. I didn't mean to switch that track. Hmm, there's heating oil. Let's send it. To the steam locomotive. There it goes! Time penalty! And those freight cars are getting close. Let's send that dynamite car over there. Penalty. Hmm. I don't have to worry about the time penalties, though. And let's send this meat item. No time penalty there. That's interesting. There, the second dynamite car has been sent. Penalty. Hmm, the steam locomotive moved in reverse slightly because of how fast that that freight car coupled up to the freight cars. Let's send that nitro car. Time penalty! There. And now we can send the third dynamite car to here. There. And let's go for it. Time penalty! The jobs in this level do not have to be done in order, which is pretty convenient 
which means that you can do the jobs in your own order. There go the animals. Hmm, that locomotive is close enough. Way on a one -way track. I know. Statues are coming up. Oh, didn't mean to uncouple those freight cars. I wasn't supposed to do that. Like this. What? Time penalty. That's the wrong way on a one-way track. I know. Wash! There Time goes that painted. nitro car. Let's make sure the locomotive's close enough. There's the sheep. Let's send that cattle car. Time penalty. That steam locomotive keeps moving by itself. Like that. There's the grain. Let's send it. Penalty. That's the wrong way on a one-way track. I know. I know that. And finally, let's send the flat car with logs to the steam locomotive. There it goes. Time penalty. That's the wrong way on a one-way track. I know. And now we can send the last three explosives. So, there's two nitro cars and one dynamite car left. Time penalty. Wash! Time penalty! One more explosive to go! Except let's move this train out of the way. There. The track is clear. And whoosh! Time penalty! Alright, the first task is done. Now, let's do the second task where we do the the division and multiplication problems. So let's go ahead and arrange the flat cars correctly. Because there's a one-way track over there, um, I'd rather start off with the division problem, and then I can do the, the, the multiplication problem. So, we need to arrange those freight, those flat cars correctly. And this job is just like um, what we were doing in the school days series levels. 
only this time, we can only do the multiplication and division problems. Sorry about that, I had to pause there. So, for this task, we will be starting off with 156 divided by 12 equals 13. The numbers right here don't vary at all, which makes things less challenging. How convenient. Still that one-way track section, which is what we know. Well, for now, just to clear up some space, we're just gonna put 156 over here, which is a good idea. Now let's couple up to those freight cars again. Better be careful not to go on that one-way track section. Well, we can put 13 here. Whoa! I coupled up to those freight cars too fast. Wait, I better collect some collect those other flat cars first. I don't I don't want to do this too soon. Okay. Obviously, once again, in the original version of the scheme, the refrigerator cars were used for the number of cars, and in the original version of this game, the box cars were used for the letter cars. Oh, and I must point out that in the original version of this game, some of the loads are are different. But in this version, they changed the intended loads for Cook's Castle. Uh, wait a minute. Let's couple up to these flat cars. We don't have to worry about rearranging these. Since the order of these flat cars are going to be right. Oh. 
I don't I don't think I'm supposed to go on there. And now I'm here. Let's put 12 on the bottom. There we go. Now we can do the multiplication problem. So, 12 has been placed. Oh, wait. 144 is the answer to this multiplication problem. So let's put those flat cards on the bottom. So the multiplication problem we're doing is 12 times 12 equals 144. And that's it for this task. Alright then, the, ne the next task is to unscramble the letters for the three words train, town, and rules. Hmm, let's start off with the word train, shall we? Hmm, this looks pretty complicated. You know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and speed this up. Because I want to make this shorter. I'm just gonna pause right here until I get this puzzle right, so hang on. Okay, I just restarted this job. Let's get out of that dialogue box. Alright, I just spelled the word train, town, and rules. But before that, I decided to start off with the sixth task where you have to uh, match the loads in the box cars with an unlimited amount of guesses. So I had to start off with this task this time because believe it or not, this is very hard. And it took so many attempts to to get this um task to be to complete this task. The loads will and there will vary. The loads in that task will vary, I meant, which makes things very challenging. And now all and all those words have been completed because the the unscrambling processes seem to be easier this time. So task six Three and one and two are still completed. And now that those tasks are out of the way, we can now um, do the easier tasks. So let's do this task where you can, where you have to get the hand car across the busy traffic to repair a broken switch. So, so 
so let's go ahead and send those commuter t commuter cars to that section just to make sure I'm safe. Time penalty. Whoa. Time penalty. That was close there. I really need to watch my timing. I would do task number four where you have to navigate through the hidden maze first, but um, and I don't want to start the steam locomotive straight away since there's one of the um, one-way track sections in the way. So just to be safe, I'd rather do this first, because that way, one of the switches will be clear. And let's go for this. Oh, no. I'm being really slow there. No, no, don't send those commuter trains there. I better try again. Go on, hand car workers. Yep, I had to stop there before switching that switch. And let's stop here, because, um, because by the time we start moving, the handcar workers will have enough energy to get moving. So let's go for it! I can't wait until I finish this job. And now I'm safe. There's tons of buildings everywhere. Hmm, that task was kind of like the the kind of like the dodgeball uh, job because of how they use those commuter trains. Except that that job is except this task is based on the rush hour job. Now we're fixing the switch. There we go. Let's park the hand car right here. And did you see that? The, f the hand car went off the rails. And now, and now, we can start moving this, driving the steam locomotive to Cook's Castle. Yep. I had to blow its whistle so that I can let everyone at Cook's Castle know that the steam locomotive is coming. That's a lot of freight cars. So, we're off to Cook's Castle. Now we can navigate through this hidden maze. Those track sections appear every time you you start getting very close to them this time. And this task is based on on the, the an engineer's dream job. Except this time you're driving an actual train, not a hand car. And let's switch that track so that the train won't won't go the wrong way. I'm sure I'm going on the right way. Just in case um, something happens, we have to slow down. Oh, yep, we're going on the right way. Let's keep going fast.
Cook's Castle, here we come. Now, because of those one-way one -way track sections, we need to rearrange the freight cars. So let's start by delivering the logs to the castle. You have a new delivery. Mm, seriously, why would they need those loads? I think in real life, these loads would be uh, useless, I think. I mean, I think they would be useless for, um, for, for the castle. That sounds right. So, we will have to go go on and make those rearrangements so we can deliver the loads. I mean, go ahead. You have a new delivery. All right, the grain has been delivered. Now we need to deliver the sheep next. Hmm, there's a water tower and a coal tipper over there. It's pretty convenient, huh? Uh, it's pretty convenient the way they placed them there, just for when the steam locomotive um, it's nearly out of fuel after trying to find the right way in the invisible maze. You have a new delivery! Now, we can deliver the statues. Sorry about that, I had to make a cut there because the video somehow froze there. Everything's still running fine. You have a new delivery! The dodgeballs are next? Oh man! We have to make a few rearrangements with those freight cars. So... The loaded freight cars will be first, will be last, and the empty freight cars will be first. That way, the rear, the rearrangements will be easier. So let's put those loaded freight cars away for now. So that the steam locomotive can couple up 
to the empty freight cars. Alright then, alright then, I meant, we're doing pretty good. Alright, the dodgeballs have been unloaded. Now, let's unload the animals. A new delivery. Next, we need to unload those bush objects. And then we can deliver that um that meat stuff, which looks a lot like steak, but it's as I can tell by the icon, but it's different. And then the heating oil lasts. Well, I couple up to those freight cars too fast. There we go. Now we can deliver deliver that meat stuff next. The refrigerator car and the and the and a tanker car well should be able to to fit that loading zone, I'm sure. So I I don't have to worry about rearranging those freight cars. Now let's couple up to those empty freight cars one last time. Oh. Mm. I stopped too soon. Actually, I started going first too soon. That's what I meant. Now let's deliver the, the last two loads. Okay. Let's you unload have a new this. Delivery. And let's unload this. Here we go, the C ending. Let the great battle be commence. Alright, here comes the red dragon. There goes that cannonball. There he goes. And we have reached the end of the line. 
You're a valiant conductor for heroically helping the knights defeat the dragon. Truly, the bards will praise your deeds for generations to come. And from all of us on the Lionel Train Town Development Team, thanks for playing our game. We hope you liked it. Thank you very much. All right, I have finally completed the entire game. Yeah! This is awesome. All right, so let's exit this job. And now we're done with the main jobs, which is awesome. But hey, we're not done yet. In the next part, we will do one more thing, which is um, I'm building layouts in Layout Tinkerer. So it's time to take a break for now, so that's about it.